So 100 people are attending a newspaper conference. All right. We'll make the Venn diagram. As I said, we'll always make the Venn diagram. 45 of them are writers. So here we have 45 and they are writers. And more than 38 are editors. All right. So we don't know how many are editors. We just know that there are more than 38. So I would say 39 or more. Right. Editors. Of the people at the conference, X are both writers and editors and 2X are neither. So what is the largest possible number of people who are both writers and editors? So look, now we can't place the circles where we feel like, right? Why? Because there are constraints on both and neither as well. So then this is what it looks like. I have an X over here. This is my editor circle. I don't know the exact value of this. But I know that 2x is outside. That is my neither, right? All I know is that all of them add up to give me 100. So let me put this down. I'll say uh, 100 is equal to what? 45 plus 45 is my writer's circle, right? Plus this circle, my editor circle. I don't know what exactly it is. Okay, I'll just put a question mark. Then minus both. This is my standard sets formula, right? Total is equal to A plus B minus both plus neither. We know how it goes and why we, you know, we have that, right? And plus neither. So plus that is 2x. Now note that right now we have not worried about, you know, overlap, maximum, minimum, nothing. We have not thought this is the standard formula that we have used. That's all. That's all right? As per the given data. So this is simply 100 is equal to 45 plus this unknown, which we know is 39 or more, but exact value we don't know, plus x. Now, what is the largest possible value of people who are both writers and editors? That is, we want to maximize this x. So here, which is a standard equation, I want to maximize the value of this. These three positive numbers, they should add up to give me 100. And I want to maximize this, which means that the other two numbers should be as small as possible so that this one can be maximum. Now, this is 45. It's already defined. I can't do anything about it. But this one is not. It is 39 or more. And now, since I want to maximize this, I should then take this as 39 only, the minimum value that it can take. Make sense? Right. So then I have 45 plus I have 39 plus X. That is what gives me 100. Then X is going to be equal to 16. Does that work in your mind? Does it does it does it make sense? Right. When I have to add two numbers, A plus B plus C, and I have to have a fixed sum, let's say 100. Then if I want to maximize one of these numbers, I'm saying they are both positive, all of them are positive integers. When I want to maximize this number, I should make these two as small as possible. One of them is already defined as 45. Then I should make this as small as possible. And since this one is more than 38, so it will be at least 39. So then I'll take it as 39. That is the smallest value I can take. So my C gets maximized. My X, that is, gets maximized and I get 16, right? 